I should probably hit the record button though. So hello, YouTube land. Um, but yeah, so we'll we'll see how the game actually is because, like I said, played it for the podcast. Whatever fond memories I had were obviously just wrong. <laughs> Because the game is not that great, man. Like, right? Like, I thought, I really, really thought it was like, oh, yeah, it's a classic. I'm pretty sure I even said that to the Dorseman whenever we uh, talked about doing it. And he was like, no, you see, you think it is, but it's not. <laughs> and I was like, nah, it really can't be that bad, though. Like, I'm sure it's a little rough around the edges or whatever. Because, you know, it's like a 20-year-old game. But, like, it, surely it's not that bad. No, it's that bad. Like, <laughs> it's actually not good, dude. But that's okay. We'll play it anyways. It'll be it'll be a great time. Um, sure, the default audio is fine. Um, control style, I guess, enhanced makes more sense. Sense? Sense. Left analog stick is good for movement and stuff. Camera mode active or passive? Invert on. I hope that's up and down and not side to side. I don't know, actually. Uh, Camera mode active, though, or passive. I'm, I'm assuming we want active. Specials. Ooh, cheat codes. Secret store. Wonder what we, like, what kind of secrets are there? Ooh, there's a level select. I appreciate that. I do like having cheats in games, too. That's always nice. Uh, we'll just jump right into the game. Control style. We already picked enhance. Yes, left analog. Okay, well, look, I knew it was going to make me pick all this shit anyways. Then I wouldn't have, like, you this know, is how my story begins. went through the options. My Uncle ben and oh, good. No subtitles. Like my son. favorite. They never had much money, though. I thought my powers could help make up for that. The last time I saw Uncle Ben alive... We argued. I took out my frustration in the ring. Poor Bonesaw never even saw me coming. No more Mr. Nice Guy! The fight promoter cheated me, so I didn't think it was my problem when he got robbed. Somebody! Stop him! 12 Henry, call back on that 187 in connection with the carjacking at the 42nd Street Library. 10-4. No subtitles indeed. Pay close attention to your compass and height meter. How dare he not? What did you make? I don't know if I'm supposed to be answering that or if Noodle's supposed to be answering that. She's the one telling the story, but she also seems to have gone MIA, so like, I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta yell at her a little bit, like, Noodle! <laughs> what are you doing? Rue has questions. <laughs> I think my mic's clipping a little bit. <laughs> Probably shouldn't Murder. yell directly into it. I have to find the guy who did. Oops, my bad. Also, Noodle, if you can hear, I'm pretty thirsty. Just say it. I don't have anything to drink. I I might die. Not really, but like, I am pretty thirsty. Spider-Man Spider -Man saying story. something, by the way. I can't really hear it. I doubt you guys can hear it. I don't think it really matters. I'm sure it's not important. This is supposed to be the Skull's territory. I'll find Uncle Ben's killer if I have to go through every one of the skulls to do it. Uh. <laughs> oh, we dead. <laughs> well, it's been a couple months <laughs> since I've since I've played. I can't remember what the the fucking swing button is. This is how my. That's story. the thing, though. Like this one, yeah. There's like very little actual exploration in this one. Like you have little little areas that you can swing around in and whatnot. You can't go down on the ground and run around. Uh, you can't swing around the entire city or whatever. Like, you have closed off little pieces of the city, right? That's That was strike one. Like, this is supposed to oh, be yeah, I, I have it. I'll send a picture of it Ben's eventually. I have to go through every one of the skulls to do it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so it just automatically does the swinging for us. You just gotta press, like, R2 or L2 to start it, I guess. How do you... Okay, yeah, and then it just keeps going forever. Uh, okay, so... Compass is leading us this away. What a swinging animation. I know, isn't it amazing, dude? Oh, and then up and down on the stick actually changes 
how high or low we swing. Weird. All my cups are dirty? Oh, I'm sorry, love. I mean, if it's a big deal, I can come and get it. It's not that not that big of a deal to me because I got the, the cup up here. I'll just come and get a, a drink after, like, whenever we get to a, a decent spot or whatever. Don't worry about it, love. Here's a tip for when you're on the side of a building. If you press the zip line button, you'll zip in the direction you're crawling. Of course, you'd know this if you played the basic tutorial, but I guess you're just cooler than the rest of us. What's the zip line button? I mean, bruh, what? Oh my god. Turning the camera doesn't change the way you move until you let go of the stick. <laughs> oh no! That's <laughs> oh, that's so bad. So now, like, if I okay, look, I'm gonna hold forward, right? I'm gonna turn the camera. I didn't start turning. Now I'm gonna hold forward again, and now I turn. And let me get down here where we got this like nice long straight right here, right? So here we go, holding straight, holding straight. I'm not moving the forward stick. I'm still holding forward. Now, if I hold forward, I turn that way. If I hold forward after turning the camera... That is so bad. What happens if we, like... Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> so, if you... Oh, my God. Hold on. That, that might be part of, like, the, the enhanced controls or whatever. Because, like, say I want to run to the left, but also look to the left... Okay, that, that worked a little bit better than expected. Hold on. Just roll, run forward. Now run left. Now I'm still running straight forward. <laughs> you love. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. No, no. Noodle made me Earthworm Jim. I hate the game Earthworm Jim. She knows I hate the game Earthworm Jim. Um, but she made it for me anyways. What are you? What are you doing? That's your face. That's not... <laughs> She's struggling here. Now everybody's going to see my dirty-ass desk. Uh, now nah, you could post in Discord or something if you wanted. I don't really care. But still made out of love. It was not made out of love. She knew. She made it full well knowing that I hated Earthworm Jim. <laughs> it was not made out of love. It was made to annoy me. It is very cute, though. I will say that. It is one of the cutest QB crafts that she's ever done like it's a very neat QB craft I just hate the character that is love you fool <laughs> purposefully being annoying is not is not love <laughs> that's being annoying that's what it is <laughs> she looks very sad right now I love you even if you do purposefully annoy me <laughs> what's that yeah, that's, she said that's her job. What's what to, get to be annoying. You She's very good at her guy. job. I'll say that. Well, I'm glad we liked it. Gonna give me some answers. Make sure you take the cats out of here. You were about to say that? You're not even kidding? What Did, did you reply in Discord first? Because I thought Noodle said that you said it was cute. Or that you liked it or whatever. Or the job part. Look, there's so many conversations going on right now. I don't actually know what you're talking about. Yes. I've said like 30 different things. I don't know what the yes is to either. <laughs> I don't know. Noodle gets mad at me. Because like when I'm talking to someone face to face, right? And they give you like two different options. If I start saying yes in the middle of them saying the second option... Obviously, I mean yes to the first option that was given to me, right? That seems pretty obvious to me. So I do that. And Noodle hates it, man. Hates it so much. Um, but in live streaming, it's just a little bit harder to tell because delay. So I was able to say, like, all three options before you ever said anything. <laughs> Bruh, why? So we're at, the, we're at the ledge, right? And I'm trying to climb up. Why do we not just go up? <laughs> like... And then I press the jump button to try to, like, jump up, and we jump off. Circle, maybe? Trying. Square. None of these things are doing it.
It's so bad. <laughs> I can round corners, but I can't climb up. Like, I can't even look up. There we go. You just let me climb up, dude. What kind of Spider-Man can't just climb up a tiny bit? The game is honestly really bad, dude. If you try to do anything outside of just basic punching people. Um, even then, I don't know if it's what I would call good. Just wait until we get inside. Once we get inside is where, honestly, I think it gets really bad. Because uh, once you get inside a building, that's when, like, the nausea starts. Because suddenly, camera is just everywhere in very gross ways. Looks like the freak wants to play. What's the web button? There we go. Oh, they break out of that web awfully quick, dude. Out of my way. Is that is that just like a civilian or something? Who's the dude that's just running around not doing anything? Can I kick his ass too? Oh, that was <laughs> I guess that's the guy we were looking for. Carjacker killed an old man earlier today. The killer's a skull. Where is he? I can't tell you he killed him. What makes you think I won't? Ah! Oh, the guy you want to spike. He's probably in that old shipping warehouse. It's right on the river. That's all I know. Thanks. Sorry, I was taking a drink. Go to the warehouse. Okay, hold on. What's this uh, red thing here? Is that health? Yeah, it looks like it. Is it bad this is somehow better than the movie story-wise? No way, dude. I actually... Uh, granted, again, I haven't watched it in a long time. But I actually like the, the movie, the Tobey Maguire movies. I thought they were pretty good. Maybe that's, you know, rose to the glasses or whatever, but from what I remember of them, I enjoyed them. We watched it recently. It's kind of garbage to me. <laughs> I have to check it out again, dude. Maybe Noodle and I, because I don't, I don't remember. Noodle, have you ever watched the three Tobey Maguire movies, the original trilogy for uh, Spider-Man? I have to just real quick. Let's turn off enhanced controls and do classic. Are these better? No. No, they're not. They're not better at all. How are they actually different? Everything feels the same. Wait, did it not save my, my options? No, it's clat. I don't know, man. I'm just going to leave it on enhanced, I guess. <laughs> what kind of third-person game doesn't use freaking camera-based movement, dude? Oh. Sounds like the police are closing in. They can have whatever's left after I'm done. Be careful, Spidey boy. If you touch the ground, you die. Apparently. It makes no sense to me either, but... Rules are rules. Uh, we got points. Don't care. Points are probably used for, like, unlocks or something, I'm sure. I don't know. You're not sure if you've seen them? The movies? I don't think we've ever watched them together, at least, but... I don't know if you ever would have watched it, because, like, they used to be on TV a fair bit, so you might have saw them on TV or something at some point, like, I don't know. Kind of a cool loading screen. Wait, what happened? <laughs> what was the loading screen? I completely blanked, man. Trust your spider sense when it goes off, get out of there? This? Just the... Oh, like, the farther down the spider is, the more the game's loaded? Okay, that one specific piece of it is neat, I guess. But, like, the rest of it, pretty shit. <laughs> it's pretty basic. But as far as loading screens go on the PS2, I guess it's not bad. I'd give it a solid, like, B tier. Huh. What's this door doing open? You know? Man. People 
gotta be more careful. The cops could show up at any time. Here we go, dude. Catch Uncle Ben's killer. Then we go down and the camera moves. And then we go on the floor and the camera moves. And then you try to run through. I'm running through this door. I want to turn. Oh, I can't see that way. Why did I run to the right? <laughs> or to the to the left? Whatever. <laughs> My sense of direction's already fucked. <laughs> this is so bad, dude. And why when we're in these little tiny ass rooms does R2 still even make us do the web thing? Like the the bruh. hold on okay so maybe maybe active camera is the problem right there is a passive camera okay so the passive camera is it working not See, really no What if I, like, go through the door? Will it automatically... Uh, kind of. No, see, I can't... Never mind, that's that's shit. It sucks. Turn it off. New combo backflip. Square, circle, circle. It doesn't seem to... Oh, okay. You can only do it when you're hitting people. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. A lot of games work that way, so that's not that big of a deal. Seems a little... I, I probably just have the timing off or something, but it seems a little odd to get the thing to actually work. It's just so hard to actually, like, move around because of the way the, the controls work. Like, having it be this weird mix of physically based until movement until it's not, like... Like, why would it sometimes be physically based movement and sometimes be camera? Just have it be one or the other then, right? Like, if you're not going to make it camera based, then just leave it physical. Like, based off the, the character. It's so bad, dude. Also, I would like to mention that we're on normal mode. We're not on hard mode or anything. Yes, those barrels did blow up, but like... Why have exploding barrels in such close quarter? We're gonna die. Like, straight up. We're, we're about to fucking die. I guess maybe we could have tried to sneak in or something. We're dead. Alright. We'll watch for the we'll watch for the barrels this time. I think for the podcast, which we normally play one to two hours of a game for the podcast, I'm pretty sure I beat this level and started the next, and I was like, you know what, I'm done. This is that's it. I'm not doing it anymore. I don't remember if I played the whole hour or not, but I just couldn't do it, man. It was too much for me. So I, it, it made me physically ill the last time I played it. All right, drop down. Go through one of these doors. I wasn't trying to walk towards that wall, I promise you. I gotta remember, anytime you want to turn, you just gotta let go of the freaking stick. Oh, I hear a gun. Not too bad these guys, like, break out of their restraints so quickly. They're not breaking out as quickly now as they were before. Maybe because I spent more time webbing them than I did the dudes on the roof? That might have something to do with it, actually. Which would kind of make sense. Uh, there's a health pickup. That's always handy. Anything else up here? No. No, there is not. Can Spider-Man just pick up a gun? Because that would actually be pretty handy, dude. Then I could, like... Shoot these exploding barrels. I'm gonna tear you to pieces. Spider-Hood. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> Oh, which reminds me, um, probably not for, I, I've been working on the next game. I, I posted on Discord, if y'all hadn't seen. Um, it's going well, but after this next one, I would like to, I don't know if we're going to have holes on here or how we're going to do it exactly, but I'd like to, uh, ooh, 
I would like to get some of your guys' ideas on how or what, like, what we should do game-wise. So, like, maybe we'll have a list of topics and, or, like, themes and genres or something. And then let you guys vote on them individually. Or maybe as preset groups or something. I don't know. Just, a, and, and also, Just like, you guys can suggest your own. Near an object to try picking it up. Okay, we can pick stuff up. Cool. Um, yeah, maybe you guys could, like, suggest your own topics and things and, and genres. And then, uh, yeah, just to help John and I get some ideas. The idea for the current game that we did, the one that we're working on now, actually came from... I don't know what that was. If you hold down the triangle button, you can web up an enemy. Oh, okay. You can wrap enemies and web. Um, actually came from Stop ChatGPT, right open AI. I got on there and asked it for some ideas and it gave us like five and we picked one of them to do. Um, uh, now it was guided. Like we told them what our goal was. We told ChatGPT what our Looks goal like was and whatnot. And then it gave us a, uh, an idea from there. We're being shot at. I literally can't see these guys though because the camera is absolute shit. I, I guess I can just web everybody and oh, he broke out. Out of my way. Let's smear him. What's with the get up, chump? Uh. Not so tough now. Who has the gun? I'm guessing the dude in the red has the gun. Get wrecked? Are you dead? I think you're dead. Oh nope, never mind. You're not dead. <laughs> Now you're dead. <laughs> At least the tires are bouncy. Is it gonna... Oh, I was kind of hoping it would hit that barrel and then blow up and then just keep bouncing forever. Basically. Uh, but yeah, so here in... Starting in a few weeks or something. I don't know exactly how we're gonna do it. I have to get that back if I want to open that door. Oh, God. Uh, ow. That hurt. Um... Oh, good. There's a dude over here, too. I don't know, like, if we'll do a poll on, like, straw poll or uh, maybe, like, a, a Google Sheet or something like that. But somehow, we're going to get a list of, of genres and themes and let everybody uh, either help us <laughs> by picking things that, that'll be fun and doable or uh, hurt us, I guess, by just picking absolutely ridiculous things. When you see a vent things. cover on the ground, try looking up. Duh. See, chances are there's an open air vent overhead. Try looking for air vents and ceilings or walls when you're... Okay. So when there's a hole in the roof, go through the hole in the roof. That's basically what he just said. Thanks for that. I can't let anything stop me. I have to find a way to shut off the power so I can get through. That should do it. Now to find the guy who killed Uncle Ben. Okay. What's the hint? Okay. Now, just in case you don't know already, you can activate a console or switch by standing next to it. Okay. We can activate things by doing things. Got it. A Spooderman game? <laughs> no copyright infringement intended Spider-Man? They've taken a fuse out of the control panel. I say I we just call that it that, dude. I want to open that door. Taking a fuse out of the control panel. I'll have to Wait, get did I take one I out of it? That door. It looks like it's still there, dude. If taking a fuse like out shirt. Of the control panel. I actually have do have an idea for a shirt door. game. Who's that? Oh. Ow. That was originally what I planned on doing for the first game, but I feel like the art's yeah. gonna be a bit Should've much home, for John to be made uh, to make it in six huh. hours, with at least with the idea that I have. So, uh, so yeah, so we just haven't done it yet. I haven't even told him exactly what the idea was, but do it. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I, I think the idea is okay. Um, but again, it might be, it might be a bit much. Oh no, it is going to be 2D. Definitely 2D. Better take off while you still can. Easy to say that behind a locked door, coward. But yeah, it's still like, uh, still a fair bit. So that takes care of that. Now to get that fuse. Paper shirk. 
Just a mix of Paper Mario and Shirk. So wait, where am I going now? That's where I need to be. Now I just need to find a way to get there. Well, we got a f the fuse or whatever, right? So I'm guessing we got to go maybe back the way we came. I remember basically up to this part. At this point, I'm lost. I don't remember what we were doing after that. Okay, well, there's people here again. Why won't you die, dude? Are, are you invincible? Excuse me? Seriously, is this is this a boss? Holy hell, this dude! This fuse okay. should get that door open. This fuse should get that. Wait, what? I thought I already got the fuse. Now I'm even more confused, man. This is where the fuse goes. Now oh. I've got you. All right, whatever. Look, we completed our objective. That's all that matters to me. Now, how the hell do we get out of here? Was it this one? But no, don't. Spooter man. <laughs> Hold on. Go. You know what? This is faster. Do that again. There we go. And then up and down. Okay, turn camp. Nope, nope. Not that way, Spooter man. I, I have no idea why we did what we just did, but whatever. We're going... Where are we going? I know a door opened, but where did the garage door open exactly? Ah, oh, was it this one? Hey, you! Oh, hi! The There's a lot of dudes in here. Out of my way! You gotta Ow! Bro, if I die now, I'm gonna be so pissed. Thank God. Like the freak oh, shit, there's the more? You're so dead. You messed with the wrong guy. Ah. Why do these regular dudes have so much help? Can I just like I'm gonna take you down? Web them up and then leave them? Did I just hear another door open somewhere? Oh thank god for the health, dude. Some extra web fluid. Would be handy too, you know. Oh, I just had to walk close. That why put the health right there if all I had to do was walk close to that door to end the level. Like, <laughs> what was the point of the health then? I guess maybe our health will carry over. Uh, I guess we'll see. I don't know. Spooder man, spooder man does whatever a spooder does. Uh, sure. Save. That's fine. You can overwrite. I don't mind. Continue. Uncle Ben's killer is located at the top of the warehouse. Okay. To the top, then? I mean, getting to the top of the warehouse should be pretty easy, considering we are Spider-Man. There's one thing we're good at. It's getting high. Oh, shit. We're still inside. Maybe I never did complete that mission. I actually don't remember now. Uh, Just keep going up. This way. I'm assuming there's only really one direction to go. Obviously, I'm wrong, so we can go down in a couple different places. Let's go down here. Hi, mystery fella. Hey, you. And no, our health didn't way. carry over. How you like me now? Both our health and web completely reset for the new level. Why are there so many people? You should have stayed home, kid. Oh my god. Again, I would like to remind people, normal mode. Oh, 
This game should be easy. Can we get like a, an unlockable ability that lets us dodge bullets? Isn't that one of the cool things about Spooderman here? He's got like the spidey senses and shit. What's the point of this room? I guess maybe a couple goons were just hiding in there for some reason. Just chilling in there. Having having some bro time. If you press the R3 button, you'll enter look around mode. In this mode, a targeting reticle will appear, which you can aim with the right analog stick. When the reticle turns green, you're in zip range, baby. Press the R1 button to zip to the point you're aiming at. Or press R3 again to exit look around. Yeah, so R3 for look around mode, apparently. Why does the camera not just... Like, what? Bro, just put us in, like, first-person mode or something. This is so much worse. It's like the camera doesn't move until the reticule gets to the side of the screen. Uh, what's the yellow one do? New combo. Handspring. Circle X circle. Wait, why does that one work? Yeah, that one works outside of combat, but the backflip doesn't. Weird. Oh god, hi. What's with the get up, chump? There's so many people here. Oh, shut your mouth. Uh, circle X circle. Why is it not working? We're gonna die, dude. <laughs> oh my god, we're, we're seriously about to die. Run away. You can't see me. I'm invisible. I need this help, please. Thank you. Can I just like... Oh, that like instantly throws. I want to pick it up. And then... Oh. Let's face it. There's nothing more embarrassing than getting whacked by some thug you lost track of. If you press the L1 button, you'll lock the... Oh, L1 for lock on. That's actually cool. I appreciate that. That's a good tip. More health up top there too. That's good to know. Like the freak wants to play. I'm trying to do th that <laughs> is what I'm trying to do. That's not even the one I'm locked on to, man. Okay. I think everyone's dead. Let's grab the health. And we're back. What's up, Psycho? Welcome, welcome, my guy. That is not where I meant to go. I want to go up, please, so I can grab. There was health somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, I'm back. I've been here. I streamed yesterday, a couple days ago. Uh, probably a couple days before that. I don't really remember. <laughs> I only skipped one day that I remember, at least. Because, for whatever reason, Twitch was dead that day, man. It was bad. Like, uh, I have this, this tool that lets me, uh, test, like, all of the servers. The, the Twitch servers that I can stream to. And, uh, not a single one was over a megabit a second. Most of them were around, like, 300 kilobits a second of connection speed and it wasn't my internet like I ran multiple speed tests I was getting between like 15 and 25 megabits per second on my speed tests but uh on twitch no <laughs> not even close so I just there was no way I was streaming that night sadly like I was dropping 70 percent of the frames I was sending to twitch it was a bad night but <laughs> it's fine <laughs> it all worked out in the end I guess we haven't had any problems since, at least. 
So we got a key, but where's this key go? Now, they did say that Uncle Ben's killer's at the top of the warehouse. So maybe... Maybe here. Uh, no, don't go over there. Go here. The tic-tac-toe bot is an idiot sometimes, I swear. Oh, this isn't... That's not the door we're going to. Okay, well... Maybe it's the one with the big spinning light on it. Sure, that seemed to work. I don't want to climb on every wall I get close to, I promise. They really should have had it set up so that, like... I don't know, you have to press a button to climb a wall or something. Can I... Hold on. What, what was it? This. Can I aim up? Can we just, like, zip right on up there? There we go. Uh, It won't let me turn the camera? There we go. Uh, what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> no, man. It turns the camera the right way for this mode, and then I deactivate it, and it puts the camera... Okay, there we go. It's working now. Put the camera back facing the direction I didn't want it to face. Didn't try to block it all. Right? But it's only like sometimes, man. Sometimes. Oh, God. Okay, so Uncle Ben's killer does not fuck around. He breaks out of shit instantly. But then like other times, I bet if you, if you win and then go back to it, I bet you that the bot will actually play like sensibly. Oh, God. We're dead. Where's the checkpoint? Please tell me there was a checkpoint. Before we got the key and all that. Hide on the ceiling and wait for the moment to strike. Yeah. It's good to tell me that now, game, after I died. And before checkpoints beginning of the level. Don't get too excited. This is not a good Spider-Man game. <laughs> I thought I had fond memories of this game. I do not. It is the beginning of the level. Son of a bitch, dude. Alright. Um, we went up. And then... Over here. As far as I'm aware, these all lead to the same place. Just like... Looks like the freak wants different the locations play. of the same place. Uh, circle... Circle jump... the. Wait, do I not have Do I not have the thing? Look at you. I, combo. God, I'm going to die. I'm more excited you caught the stream. I'm excited you caught the stream today. Oh, wait, this is a totally different room, isn't it? Hold on. Get off. Oh god. You know what? I think I just accept the fact that we're dead. Oh, oh, maybe not. Oh, we might, we might be okay. We're definitely going to need some health before we go and fight those other guys, though, in the next room. So I guess last time we just got lucky and completely skipped this room, way. or... Or maybe we did this room and I just completely forgot, I guess. I guess that's possible, too, actually. You know what? I think we did. I think I just, uh... forgot because right here isn't this where we get the the move or something oh shit no we're clear back here okay we're even farther back than i thought we were we still got to go through if you this the tutorial R3 about how to zip line <sighs> this is the the move yeah the handspring what's with the ghetto Really? You spotted me? Get off the wall. I need to find health. I know there's at least a couple health pickups around here. There's one. That should do... Excuse me? That's not where I wanted to go. I'd like to go down, please. Thank you, game. Uh, that's that? also not what I wanted to do, actually, but you know what? Whatever. I'm an 
tear you to pieces. How you like me now? That's where the skulls you pay the price. This combo system, like circle X circle X circle. Circle X circle. There we go. <laughs> like it only goes through half the time. Oh god. Run away. No, go up, please. Thank you. Uh there's a health right here, but I it, I know there's one over here too. There we go. Right. Right about there. Can we like pick up the forklift? No. Well. Looks like the freak wants to play. Back off, ugly. Leave him to me. Who's that? Uh die. Die? I don't like all you guys with guns. Oh god, we're about to die. Okay, run away. There's health right on the other side of these boxes. Friendly reminder that we're on normal mode. <laughs> like, you may or may not have fallen asleep and should head to bed. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, no, go to bedroom. Have a good night, man. Get some rest. You obviously need it. Out of my way. We might just have to go on easy mode. Like, if we want to actually get through this. Someone's still alive somewhere, ain't they? No, maybe not. Okay, the real problem is, though, I'm pretty sure that was all the health on this level. At least that I know of. Um... Oh, wait, there's health right there. Thank God. Sorry about that, man. This game takes forever to get to the point, and yeah, <laughs> it kind of sucks. Yes, it does, dude. <laughs> it's not great. It's not the worst game I've played either. Like, you know, there's definitely worse stuff out there, but it's far from what I would call a good game. Uh, probably just zip up right there. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. It'd be a little bit faster if, you know, I didn't just die fighting Uncle Ben. Okay, so... No, not there. Go up. No, up. Where is he? Thank you. Okay, so... He's up there somewhere. I can hear him. Mm -hmm. I am up here somewhere. Can you stop running around? Do you see me? Holy shit, dude. I'm gonna take you down. No, you get are, off the wall. Please tell me there's health around here somewhere. It'd be really helpful if I could actually web him up, but you know. So scared. You were so brave when you shot a defenseless I gotta old get away man. From this guy. What is that? Ah, those flash grenades are nasty. A oh, flash grenade. Where is he? Okay. Stop. Stop moving. You don't scare me, freak. You sure? You seem pretty scared right now, man. Oh, help! Thank you. Ow, dude. <laughs> Why can't I punch him when he's down? <laughs> just, just let me kick his ass. Get behind him, maybe? And then... There we go, dude. Now we're talking. Get wrecked. No! You! Not you! Stay back! I'm warning you, you psycho! I could have stopped you at the fight promoter's office. I could have saved Uncle Ben. <laughs> Hate to see you, dude. Level complete. I don't care about the points. I don't even know what they do. Wait, what? Do you not know the uh, the story of the first Spider-Man movie? It's following it fairly faithfully. So far, at least. 
Like, they're adding extra fluff to put more gameplay in. But other than that, it is so far just the, the story of the first movie. And, of course, by story of the first movie, I mean the first, like, ten minutes of it. Because <laughs> that's all the farther we've gotten so far. Yeah, I don't mind overwriting. Over right away. Continue, please. These are the years when a man becomes the man he's going to be for the rest of his life. Just be careful who you change into. You're feeling this power of becoming a man. And with this great power comes great responsibility. Sudden dramatic okay. announcer voice. Nothing could ever fill the hole left when he died. Those wounds never really heal. The beautiful redhead is Mary Jane Watson. The guy is Harry Osborne, my best friend. They stuck with me after Uncle Ben died. Harry's dad, Norman, was great, too. He even let Harry and me stay in one of the apartments he owned after we graduated and moved into the city. I got a job with the Daily Bugle, taking pictures of... myself. Life sure is strange sometimes. No matter how much you want to hold on to a moment, you can't stop time from moving on. Is it really a good idea to just web your General stuff Slocum randomly has around the Oscorp city? A week to prove that we can develop a working serum, or we are going to lose the contract to Quest Labs. Given how much we have invested in this research, losing the contract could bankrupt Oscorp. I can only assume that Spider-Man relates to our problem in some way. <clears throat> yes, uh, Mr. Osborne. As that video showed, Spider-Man possesses all the attributes our project hopes to create. We hypothesize that he has augmented spider DNA in his system and feel certain that an analysis of his blood will enable us to complete our serum. We can modify the hunter killers to track this DNA signature and capture Spider-Man. Do it. Or just be, you know, honest with him. Like, <laughs> I mean, I guess... Like, if I was in Spider-Man's shoes, I probably wouldn't want to just give this ability to anybody. Because then, you know, like, world superpowers would probably be using it to make super soldiers. And then you have the people that are going to get a hold of it to try to fight them. And next thing you know, everybody's just throwing well, cars around New York. Week, I'd better come up with some photos for Jonah. The city's been quiet, so I guess I'm going to have to settle for some aerial acrobatics. I can get in some practice while I'm at it. Aerial acrobatics, okay. I hey, we got the real suit now, too. If I jump while I'm swinging, I can totally change direction and start swinging again. If I do it now, it should... A couple of nice shots, but nothing JJ's gonna pay top dollar for. I need to get a little fancier. That target I set up should What's do the say? trick. I'll just lock onto it and swing past it a couple of times. C-H-A? Or then O. Oh, it's still, it's still spelling out. C H A O Chaos Chaos Why does it spell chaos? Oh, where am I going? You could cure slash end, end aging by 2500 apparently, really? I know there's been work on that. I didn't know what like the current estimates were for when they think it'll be a real thing. Um but I know, like, they've been giving some some drugs to mice and whatnot that have shown some real promise in, in reversing aging. Um, as well as, like, some, some tests they've done with humans. Like, different ways to not reverse aging, but, like, slow it down. Wait, what am I? Am I supposed to be breaking the balloons? I guess this is what I get for not really paying attention. My my shooting the balloons. Huh. That was okay. But the shots need more action. This time after I lock onto the target. There we go. Not bad. That should do it. That doesn't actually look any different from the <laughs> the pictures we took a moment ago, but whatever. <laughs> if I could live forever, would I? It's a tough question, honestly. Okay. Probably. I have those shots like, for JJ. Gotta get back to the bugle, collect But it money, depends on, like, 
if the aging thing, that thing is, but still happens or not. You know what I mean? Like, because living forever as, like, a hundred-year-old dude would probably suck, right? All of the, the, the pain and the medical problems and all that, even if I couldn't technically die from them, would suck. <laughs> Guys are really but if I could live forever as like a 20, 30 year old dude, I'd probably go for it, to be honest. Especially if like my loved ones and whatnot could as well. Because like that's the only real downside I can see. Like, uh. Outside of, again, the possibility of like living while constantly aging, all the, the medical problems and shit. But, like, seeing all of your loved ones die and whatnot, like, that would suck too, of course. So, like, it, if it was a future where they had some magic serum that could basically stop you from, from aging and allow you to at least be biologically immortal. As long as that was also available to, like, you know, Noodle and uh, my closest friends and stuff like that, then, yeah, for sure, dude. Wait, can we not shoot? Am I shooting web at these things? I think I am. But we're, like, running out of web slowly. I love how we're just, like, shooting web into... I don't know. I guess at the moon? <laughs> the sun? I don't... I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's actually holding us up here. Just for reference, are you guys recyclable? You guys are awfully annoying to kill, you know that? Am I out of web? Or am I just too far away to, to shoot him? I can't tell. I think I'm out of web. Damn, dude. <laughs> it's like you can only get one hit on them before you just... before you just stop. And our thing still says 10, so, okay, we finally blew one up. Never really liked Stephen Hawking, but then you lear learned he lived with ALS for 50 years. If you lived with ALS for even 10 years, you think you would turn into a grumpy bastard, too? <laughs> I mean, yeah, fair. That had to be rough, dude, you know? Especially because, like, he developed it pretty young, too, didn't he? From what I remember, he was, like, still in college or whatever whenever it started really affecting him. Oh, here we go. This is the way to go about it, dude. Just stand on a roof and shoot them all with web. If I can't get rid of these flying nuisances, I'll never you guys want to come here. down here? Can't see. Camera bad. Where's this last one? There he is. That's the last of them. GG, weird robot dudes. I am excited to go back. I don't own it yet, but to, to play Spider-Man 2 one of these days. Because I still have hopes that that one will actually be good. Like, <laughs> actually a fun experience. You know, being able to run around on the streets of New York, swing around in, a, in an open world all that stuff instead of like these little chunks of new york with the the individual missions i guess it's like spider-man 2 from what i remember is mission based too but it's like gta style mission based you know not i don't know i can't think of what game popularized this but whatever the hell this is based on. it's not this it's not this game that's the point honestly <laughs> like hmm. what's going on over here <laughs> yeah, I just mean like, uh, so like the open world isn't really anything different in GTA, but I mean like the missions. Um, I don't know if GTA were the first games that used a uh, open world with with uh, missions on the map that you would then go, you know, collect and and then 
be sent to a point to do XYZ or whatever. But it definitely popularized, popularized that style of gameplay. A big open world to run around in, but then with uh, specific NPCs or places that you would talk to to then be sent off into a more curated uh, mission, more, more curated section of the game. I'm sure there were technically games that did it before it, but GTA definitely popularized it. Don't panic, boys. It was only a matter of time before we had to deal with Spider-Man. Let's take care of security and get some hostages. We've got who a situation is this? here. We need backup. I don't remember this part of the movie. I don't know who this creep is, but he's easy to follow. Protect the guard. All right, there you go. The guard's safe. Tell him to run the fuck away now. <laughs> like, shall we dance? Why? Why are you still here? Just leave, dude. Like I heard that. Oh shit! More people are coming. Having fun yet? On the this is some action-packed gameplay here. I'm so glad. Like I've never. The 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 one time I really tried playing the the first of the what was it the Batman Arkham games was it Arkham Asylum the first one point is I didn't really care for it that much but uh, the the combat system the flow and feel that they introduced into superhero games I'm highly appreciative of because like yeah. Only 5% live longer than 20 years. Median death time is 20 to 48 months. Holy crap, that's fast. Yeah, I remember hearing about that too whenever... I don't know if it was like a documentary that I was watching on on him or what it was. But uh, yeah, I remember hearing that like everybody thought he was going to die super quick. And then he almost miraculously lived for like a long ass time. I probably should have been paying attention during that little cutscene thing there because... <laughs> Some dude's dying somewhere, and I don't know where he's at. Well, we lost this mission. Where, Where is this dude? I don't even see any, like, doorways we can go through anything. Those are both locked. That's locked. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Get wrecked, random dude. Forty-eight months, you can get a car loan for longer than that. My car loan's longer than that <laughs> by a fair bit. Yeah, forty-eight months. I mean, hell, I've been working the same job. I mean, moving around within the company, but I've been working with the same company for ten years now, right? Like, oof, two years—that's nothing, dude. And that's on the high end of the median. Which is just crazy to think of. Some things are like that, though. It's scary to think about, honestly. Because, I mean, there's... there's, God damn, you're old? Shut up. You're old. <laughs> Only a few more years till you'll be there, Optijack. Um, but, like, yeah. It, it skews... It, <laughs> um, it's scary to think about, is what I was trying to say. That, yeah, there's, there's things like, you know... Prion disease, or... Uh, uh, botulism and things like that too that are not necessarily incurable but but a very likely death sentence and if you get one of them your time is basically up like <laughs> say your goodbyes you're not going to be around for much longer and those things can just happen out of nowhere you know like it's crazy dude you're 33 so <laughs> optijack's my brother um Hence why he's picking on me. I'm 30 myself. Yeah, lately he has just been randomly coming in to tell me I'm old, huh? It's kind of a dick. <laughs> Alright, paying attention. Through those doors. Okay. And then there's the guard getting his ass kicked. And there's the random dude. All right. 
<laughs> Stephen Hawking came up, and uh, after Stephen Hawking came up, the 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 fact that he has ALS came up, and kind of the fact that it's kind of a miracle that he lived for as long as he did. Wait, what? Excuse me, game. Was that not the door it showed me? Uh, why, and this dude dies so quickly. Maybe it's through this one? No, that just leads in. Oh, right there. Right there. Bruh. I could have swore it showed us the other one. Anyways. That means we can pick on him too. Feel free, dude. Feel free. Speaking of Optijack, are we uh are we still playing grounded tomorrow? Are you still on for that or do you need to cancel for some reason? Got to try to get that I guess we haven't technically got the second chip yet, have we? Either way, we need to either finish the second chip and then uh and then grab the the third one or whatever. That's Spider-Man on PS2. Remember the one on PS1 and then 2 and 3 on PS2? Yes. Yep, Spider-Man was on uh, PS, PS2. The Spider-Man game on PS1, I don't think was based off of... Can you get a stretch? Yes, you most definitely can. Um, anyways, uh, from what I remember, the Spider-Man that was on PS1 wasn't based off the movie, I don't think. Oh, God. That felt good on the back. Get the arms stretched out, too. Oh, man. Get that blood flowing a little bit. I like it. I like it. Got to get the mic back down here. Shot me a message on Facebook. Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah. What, the answer is yes uh, to your first question, OptiJack. The second question, uh, am I working? I'm working, sadly. I wish I wasn't, but I am. Yo, not this Friday, but next Friday. They have me scheduled to work at 6 in the morning. Which, for a lot of people, I'm sure that sounds like, oh, that's not all that bad or whatever. I go to bed at 5 in the morning, dude. Because <laughs> like, I, I fucking... <laughs> I work at my job until about 10, sometimes a little after, but usually 10 o'clock at night. Uh, and then I pick up Noodle from work, get home around 10.30-ish, and then I... Hold on. It's definitely showing us that door, dude. It's straight up lying to us. Um, anyways. And then I get home at like 10.30ish. And then from there, I fucking make dinner. Watch an episode or two of something with Mr. Noodle. And then I hop on stream. Like... <laughs> Until about 2-ish in the morning. And then after that, you know, I get my shower, do all that fun stuff. And then uh, get, and then go to bed. Usually falling asleep sometime around 4 or 5 in the morning. So like 6 in the morning, that fucking sucks for me, dude. Like it's literally crazy. I don't know what the hell they're thinking. I talked to my manager. Hopefully that uh, that gets changed. But that's to be determined, I guess. Been staying up until like seven or nine a.m. recently, and if, stop. <laughs> like, I know you. You work at what? One or two o'clock? You work at two o'clock, dude. Bruh. <laughs> so you must be Quilt Man, Padded Pete. Mr. You have your availability Triple set? Guy? Yes, I do. Yes, oh, I, I do. It, it doesn't the matter. Cushion. I'm the shocker. I tell you not to forget it, but you won't be around long He's the shocker. To okay. You can't. Now Why the fuck goodbye, can't Mr. you? Innocent. Bystander, sucker. I told my manager that's what I was going to do. If it doesn't get changed, I told him I'll probably either just not go to bed and then work like half a shift. Um, or I'll uh, just wake up at my normal time, maybe a little bit early, and then uh, just come in late. One or the other. <laughs> like, so the ball's in their court. Either change the schedule get someone else to come and cover this random ass morning shift like i don't know maybe one of the the morning people that we actually have what am i doing with them i got the guy but what do i do with the guy anyways like get one of them maybe to uh 
to come and cover the shift or or expect me to only be there like half the time whatever okay what do i do with him now that i have him oh, i'm guessing i sit him down here I'm glad I counted him as being saved, even though I don't think I put him where I was meant to put him. Either change the schedule or go fuck yourself. Basically, I said it in a lot na nicer terms, but yeah, that's, <laughs> that's essentially what happened. <laughs> oh god, I didn't see. Where were these guards at? That's what I get for looking at chat. Uh, These guards are gonna die. Wait, hold on. This door I don't think was open before. And here? Aha! There's people. That's a good sign, right? Don't know if that was a permitted term, but it is now. Wait, what was the term? Was it the go fuck yourself thing? That's fine. I don't, I don't care. As long as you're not being, like, racist or transphobic or something, I'm pretty chill, dude. Don't be straight up making, like, threats at people, but, like... <laughs> you can all have dibs on the spider if you just promise not to kill any of the guards. How about that? Because protecting people missions are some of the worst missions in video games. That freak's made a mess of things. Please don't die. No, you're not, man. You're good. <laughs> Come on, boys. Let's get out of here. I disabled the Streamlabs Autobot. Um, because it was just, like, way too trigger-happy for me personally. It still happens every once in a while with the, the Twitch mod bot, but, like, it's not nearly as trigger-happy as the Streamlabs one is. It's technically a threat. Is it allowed? I mean, you know, like... <laughs> I'm going to push you into a Lego. Into a Lego. Not onto. I see you corrected yourself, but no, no, no. <laughs> into a Lego. I want to see that happen. That's <laughs> That just sounds impressive, man. I'm not exactly a small dude, you know? I'm like 200 pounds, like six foot tall. If you can stuff me into a Lego, that's, uh, <laughs> that's impressive, my guy. That's a magic trick right there. We should go on the road. We could probably make some money modern-day locker shoving. Mm -mm -mm. Some thugs have keys necessary to get past locked sewer doors. I mean, some thugs just have keys. We've already learned that, you know, it's kind of necessary to get past certain doors because the second mission of the game, we had to get a key from one. I don't know why it would be any different right. in the sewers. Listen up. Spider-Man's gonna be right behind us. When he gets down here, ambush him. There's no way we're giving up a score this big to some clown in red tights. Looks like the welcome wagon's I already here. Back. Get oh. fucked. I know it's like canonical to the Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies, but I hate the fact that this Spider-Man has limited web use. Like that's half the point of being Spider-Man, you know, is is having all the web powers and shit. Wait, what? That door shutting sound effect sounds like the gunshot sound in Goldeneye. Maybe it's been too long since I played Gal. Goldeneye, but I didn't hear it, man, in the cutscene. I mean, I believe you, but I do not remember it. I'm assuming touching that water would be a bad time. So, let's not do that, maybe. Uh, hi, mystery guy. Look out! Do I need to kill you? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, that didn't, like, kill us instantly. Oh, I'm on his head? <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that was a possibility, man. That was neat. 
Oh yeah, okay. The water doesn't do anything. It just slowly pushes us along. Heads up. That's fine then. At least 200 ciggies a day. At least they're keeping it moderate, you know? That's the trick to all things in life. Moderation. I'd say 10 packs a day is pretty moderate, right? Could be worse. He could be smoking, like... I about said a carton a day, but... Isn't it, like, 10 packs to a carton? I'm not positive on that. Pretty sure your manager is hitting that amount. That's good, man. Pinnacle of health there. Uh, do we go up or do we go down? Yeah, we don't go up. So down it is. Let's get him. How can you block Spider-Man's punches, dude? I can lift cars. I can stop freaking trains with my body. How can you block my punch? That makes no damn sense. Ten packs to a carton? Okay. Thankfully, I stopped smoking many, many years ago, so I don't remember these things anymore. I mean, we don't really need the health, but we might as well pick it up since we're on it. What's the difference between circle? Okay, circle is like kicks, squares, punch. I'm assuming kicks would be stronger. Where are we going, anyways? Through here? No. Uh. Where? Maybe up here. Nope, that was just the roof to this. You know, this kind of looks like something we could hit. Hmm. There we go. Like there's another switch I need to hit, too. Another switch? Okay. Newports are over $10 after tax now? That's insane, man. All the more reason to be happy that, that I quit. Door. I'd better pick up the pace before <laughs> that sweet, I lose sweet celery seed. Mm. My favorite. Carton a day is ridiculous. $10, that sucks. Imagine $10 a pack if you're smoking a carton a day, right? Because <laughs> if there's 10 per carton, $10 a pack, you probably get a small discount for buying a carton, but still, we'll say $80. Right? <laughs> so, like, back when I did smoke, uh, it was, like, I don't know. Newports were, like, 4 or $5 a pack. Uh, hence why I switched. That's actually what I had started on, but I switched and uh, to something cheaper. Um, but they were still, like, two fifty three dollars $3 a pack or something like that. At my height, I was about a, about a pack a day, which, uh, again... Very happy that I stopped, because even $3 a day, man, like, that's $90 a month, you know? That shit adds up. And then, of course, there's the even more serious problem of some pretty negative health issues, like... <laughs> oh, you guys don't sell cartons? Like, actual cartons, you just sell 10 packs at a time? <laughs> I mean... You know, <laughs> whatever. It's Everything pisses people off. Freak. Vic, make it happen. I'm on it. Yeah, I'm sure tax is a big part of the tobacco prices, so that probably plays into it, Optojack. Yeah, you are. <laughs> You're a total towel. I don't even know what that means, but... It's true. That's canon now. Look out. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. So, as for Spider Man, though, like, if I was a kid and had absolutely nothing else to play, I would probably play this game. I think maybe I was a little too harsh on it whenever I did it for the, uh, for the podcast, played it for the podcast. But I don't take back anything I said, like, really. The game does suck, man. Square XX. Okay. Can I get that XXX combo? 
I am 100% pro legalization and taxation of weed. 100%, man. I think it should be legalized for recreational purposes and taxed at a reasonable rate similar to that of something like tobacco, alcohol, whatever. Um, and then for medical purposes, it should have a either lower tax or better coverage from health care, from health insurance. But like, I'm on film saying that. I am on film saying that. <laughs> I, I have no problem saying that. I, uh, I don't partake anymore. I did once upon a time, but, uh, I, my opinions on it haven't changed though. Like. You want to get Farming Sim 2022 and farm with me? <laughs> That's screw Civ, man. We're just going to become farmers, virtual farmers. <laughs> Could really use someone to fertilize my fields. That's a whole innuendo I'd rather not get into with my brother. Uh, <laughs> but if somebody else wants to say fertilize my fields, you know, I'll fertilize your fields, baby. <laughs> when do you want me to start cooking? Uh, what time is it? 1.45? I'm going to be finishing up probably after this mission, to be honest, because um, I'm pretty tired, and it's close to two. Grilled cheese is pretty quick to make, though, so maybe, I don't know, ten minutes, probably? My hands are extra soft now. <laughs> Bro, that's kind of fucked up, dude. <laughs> what the hell? Someone like you? Someone like you. <laughs> what did you do today? Oh, I farmed all day. Like a real farm? No, 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 no. I mean, look, honestly, I can already say that, dude. I <laughs> I love Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon games. Um, Stardew Valley is one of my all-time favorite games. So it's not that uncommon for me to spend an entire day virtually farming already. We got this stupid valve. Where do we need to take it to? Oh, I kind of forgot we had a compass, not going to lie. Probably this way somewhere. Not in here. Hold on. Sadly, it's easier to get around crawling on the roof than it is just being on the ground like a normal dude. This way. Ah, right down. Never mind, not down there. Up here. Is it here? Ah, there we go. But can you say you drove a tractor back and forth plowing a field for two hours, though? Oh. I never knew there were so many innuendos in farming games, but, uh, oh boy, do they exist. Is this water electrified? Oh no, but those cables are. Kind of therapeutic. I don't know. I've never been like that interested in trying out farming sim. <clears throat> I remember when you were a relatively small kid, our mother asked if, uh, or mentioned that you wanted a farming sim game and asked if our computer can play it, um, or the one that like you guys had or whatever. And I, I told her like probably not, <laughs> honestly, because like our. Uh, our, our family computer when back in the day kind of sucked ass. But anyways, that's like the only real exposure I've ever had to Farming Sim. I may have watched a YouTuber play a little bit of it at some point. But I don't know. I've just always been much more into like Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon. A lot less Sim-like, obviously. But I like the, the social aspects and the mining and all of that stuff, too. We'll get David to hop on. But you don't think you could trust him around my farm if you got pigs? I'd more worry about any of the rats that might be on the farm, man. You want to go to Vegas? Before you came into stream, you played... Ba Baccarat? Baccarat? I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. On a casino app, and after 10 minutes, you were up to brand? Dude, my boss just went to Vegas for vacation. Um, I don't know, maybe a month ago at this point. And, uh... 
for the entire trip. I don't think he was including like plane tickets and stuff. Just you know all the spending money that they took for for food and for playing the the, the slots and the tables and all that BS. He said for the entire trip it only cost him two hundred dollars, which honestly is like not bad at all for for a few days worth of food in Vegas, drinks, um, playing the slots and all that. So he must have had at least a couple of good games. Going to Vegas and coming home only losing 200 is not bad at all. Either Baccarat or Bakara, one or the other. I don't know. I have no idea which one of you are correct. I'll just say Baccarat. Who is throwing grenades? I need health, dude. There's grenades everywhere. Seriously, though, who's throwing the grenades? Because I would like to kill them first, if possible. Sorry, no autographs. You sure my brother's correct? I, I honestly, I don't know. Like, see, you're both agreeing with the other person now, so. <laughs> so who knows, honestly. I'm sure Google could tell us who's technically correct, but do any of us care enough to look it up? Ooh, health. Did that guy just fall? I hope he didn't have a key or anything on him. Oh god, he probably did, didn't he? Nope. I'll have to find another way to get this door open. Is he just down here? Look out! Cool, there he is. I think it's really popular in Eastern Europe. It's probably pronounced a bunch of different ways. Yeah. Fair enough. Different pronunciation for every country. It's still wild to me whenever you think of, like, Europe, you know? Like, being able to just drive the same distance that we might drive to go to work every day. Being able to drive that does not me personally. I only drive like four miles to work every day. I, I work relatively close to home, thankfully. But a lot of people have like an hour commute to home or whatever. And to think that like, depending on where you live in Europe, you could visit an entire different country in an hour, man. Which is like crazy. I guess like technically here in the States, you could live like right on the border to Canada or Mexico or something. But if you live anywhere within, like, the actual United States, you're talking about a, a pretty hefty trip, dude. <laughs> like, to go to another country. That's just crazy to me, dude. But, at me, bitch, yeah. <laughs> just crazy. You really need to transfer to somewhere closer, my guy. I don't see any more health pickups, and we're about to die. Oh, well, that didn't help anything. I keep forgetting. Circle's like a quick throw for some reason. Can I, like, wrap all of them up before I go down there? Your store's crazy as shit, and you've learned to love it. Maybe that's where, like, all of your insomnia and shit's coming from, my guy. <laughs> like... Just not knowing if you're going to make it home at night. <laughs> like... Shall we dance? Bruh, if I can't honestly believe we pulled this out of the bag. Yes, let's go! Okay, we could still really use health, though, man. Oh, and uh, that's fine, love. Enjoy your shower. I don't mind if we have to wait a minute for food or if I have to wait a minute for food or whatever. Take your time. Enjoy it. Uh, might as well go ahead and grab Le Web real quick. Oh, God. This is... This sideways camera view? Not great. Not in love with it. Might get shot. Might see a homeless man's asshole <laughs> while he's fixing his bike. Fist fights. A man telling me the time is coming in the bathroom because he's pissed at the paper towel dispenser doors open. <laughs> Bro, let's be real though. That's like the world's largest inconvenience when the paper towel dispenser doors open. 
Like, how are you even supposed to deal with life at that point? I, I can't say I blame the guy, dude. Wait, is this not the key that we needed? What was this key for? Is it for this door? Okay, guess we found it. What's the other door? Anything? Health, hopefully? L2 triangle. Advanced impact web? Oh, we shoot a bomb of web. Okay. Please be health on other side of door. Or at the end of the mission. Either one's fine. Told me that a month ago and then was back in yesterday bitching Shocker. to management telling them he's calling Sending OSHA in the local toes. news station. <laughs> Wait, because of the paper towel rollers again? Like, that's is that why he's calling OSHA and the news station? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's fucking crazy, man. We get some great people in, too. Nothing as crazy as you, I feel like. But uh, one of my favorite customers that I've had recently was this guy that came in. And, like, he wasn't even... He just seemed kind of out of it, honestly. Like, not crazy, crazy or anything. Just just a little off. Like, he came in, and uh, he was, like, the second person in my line or whatever. So I helped the customer in front of him. He comes up, and he, like, throws his shit on the counter and uh, starts bitching about... I happen to be out here at the store and all that stuff. And I'm just doing my best to be nice, you know. I'm just, like, ringing him up and, and uh, telling him, like, yeah, I get it. You know, I wish I wasn't here e either and all that BS. And he's like, uh, um, he's like, I fucking hate places like this. I build places like this. I'd rather go shop at Kmart. And I was like, well, good luck with that. <laughs> Laughed a little bit. I was like, last I checked, there weren't too many of those around. He's like, trust me, I fucking know, man. Why do you think I'm here? And I'm just like, bro, just chill. Like, I remember Kmart. I've gone to Kmart. It was much worse than most large stores, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly, OptiJack, right? Like, I know Noodle's mom like shopping at Kmart for some reason too. But like the the last time I remember actually going to Kmart, um Noodle and I, I'm pretty sure it was Noodle and I, we were walking around, we bought a couple of different things, and then uh I was wanting to grab a, I think it was a monster cuz I still drank energy drinks at that time. And uh we passed by this roll of cool excuse me, this row of coolers and there's one single monster sitting in the cooler. And I'm like, "Cool, I'll, I'll just grab that and have it." as we go or whatever, I open the door and it's rank as hell in that cooler. I grab the can anyways. It's fucking warm. The coolers aren't even on. <laughs> like they were just sitting there off rotting with whatever goo is in the bottom of it. Smelling like shit in the middle of Kmart, like no signs on them or anything like that. Just like, bruh, <laughs> it was bad. Um, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand for it. They're, the Kmart, at least the Kmart around where I lived, looked like shit. The The shelves were... I mean, their stock was okay, I guess. But their prices weren't any better than anywhere else or anything, right? Like, they didn't have special sales compared to, you know, your Walmarts or Best Buys or anything like that. I just... I don't get it, man. Uh, just the love that a couple people have. I mean, yeah, maybe OptiJack. Maybe, like, in their heyday or something, it was something cool. But I... Uh, I Shit, I don't really even know what stores were like until I turned, like, 18. You know what I mean? Because, like, growing up, my parents never took us shopping. It was extremely rare that we went shopping. Even when I was a little, little kid, like, we were usually left at home with either an older sibling, um, a neighbor, by ourselves, whatever the case was. You know, we were usually just left at home while the parents went shopping. So, like... I have very few memories as a child going shopping until like around the time I was 15, 16, I started going a little bit more often because, you know, I had friends that drove and whatnot. So we would, you know, hang out, do, do, do our thing, you know, the things that teens do. And uh, then we would be bored. So we would <laughs> go to fucking Walmart and play video game displays at like two o'clock in the morning and, and shit like that. But like, yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Kmart, as far as I'm aware, has always been shit. 
the genius that had two different stores in one but had separate checkouts for him yeah dude um i remember walmart in case it's not clear uh spoke about they uh at one point in a meeting they mentioned that one of the possibilities for the future of the company is basically doing that um separating every department into basically a mall like experience this was a long time ago so obviously they didn't end up deciding to do it or whatever um or at least put it on the back burner but they were talking about like electronics being basically its own store within a store sporting goods being its own store within a store etc and like every department not only having their own register but also being somewhat more closed off with like the the expectation that you buy your sporting goods stuff check out and then you go to electronics and then check out and then you get your groceries and then you check out up front or whatever just like crazy shit dude which i mean doesn't make it's not the most crazy thing in the world because malls do exist but like when you go to a walmart or a kmart or a jc penny or something you're not expecting a mall experience you're expecting a big box store <laughs> experience though you know too much time in store exactly like it just seems like a waste i don't know i don't know man um i mean look ai robots and uh online shopping are gonna take over the world anyways as far as i'm concerned all of us retail people have like five years left and then uh <laughs> and then we're sol <laughs> uh, can't remember shit about our work until you started working there too much time spent there has started rotting my brain <laughs> i feel that i feel that you want people to out before they even walk in yeah yeah i get that i get that um but yeah i don't know man i uh honestly like i don't i hate it but i don't hate it at the same time i have a real love hate relationship with it because as far as, for me at least, I'm I'm making a significant amount more than most people that work at my level. Um, so I can't really complain all that much. I make a pretty decent wage, especially considering the work I do. And even starting out, I feel like it's a pretty decent wage for the, for the work that you honestly do from day to day. It's just from experience, I can say with every job that I've had, at least for me personally... It's like what makes the job actually suck isn't so much how much you're paid. It's the management behind you. You know what I mean? Like, because if the customers suck, that's going to piss you off for, you know, 15 minutes or whatever after you're done dealing with them. And then you can kind of chill or whatever. That doesn't generally ruin your whole day. But if you have a shitty manager that just loves to make everyone's life hell, uh, that's, you know... If you work five days a week, you're probably going to work with that manager at least two to three days a week, at least. So that's two to three days. That's half the time that you're working there. That's just going to be hell, dude. Like, whether it's unreasonable expectations or um, just being a total dick about everything or uh, mis mishandling staff um, or staffing or, or assignments or whatever the case may be, you know. It's just like, that's what ruins it uh, with... Whether it's, you know, fast food, um, I've worked in an office before, it's the same there. It's just bad management is a serious problem in a lot of workplaces. And uh, yeah, that's rough. That's rough. But thankfully, I would say where we're at or where I'm at now, our management team has actually gotten pretty decent. Not to say there's no bad apples, of course, but... 90% of them are good people. Good people, and uh, I can't complain too much. Damn, my man flex. I'm not trying to flex or anything. I'm just saying, like, I can't complain, you know? I get a good wage for what I do. Um, So, like, yeah. You were essentially that. If I don't dramatically improve my speed ASAP, I'm going to get fired. Right? Like, stuff like that, man, that ruins morale. At least for me. Like, I, I guess there's probably some people out there that when they're told something like that, maybe it does actually improve their performance or something like that. But, like, for me, personally, if a manager comes up to me and is just a dick every day, um, like, without saying names, I remember this one that we had that always really tried to play the, the hard-ass 
card, right? Like, no matter how much work we got done in a day, um, it wasn't good enough, right? Like, they would set a standard for us to complete, and we would work our asses off for weeks until we finally get to that point. And then the next day, they would come in and be like, hey, I came in and saw that this one fucking pallet was out of place or whatever, you know? Like, some stupid shit like that. And it's like, dude... <laughs> We got all of our job done. I'm sorry that one pallet. Literally, one manager bitched at us one time. We got our work done on time. Everything was complete. He pulled me aside the next day and was like, hey, your team last night left this back room a mess. Them pallets were uh, crooked over here in this back room. They were crooked? I'm sorry? <laughs> like, you want me to go and bitch at my team after they just worked their ass off getting their work done? Because some pallets were crooked? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, they were two inches off of where they should have been. No, go fuck yourself, dude. Like, that's so fucking dumb. That was, stuff like that was insane, you know what I mean? And if I had gone to my team and bitched at them for something like that, how much, how, what are the chances they are going to, to work their ass off to, to get the actual important stuff done again on time? And not leave pallets of unworked freight or whatever for 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 another team to work. You know what I mean? Like, dude, you gotta learn to let certain things slide <laughs> for real. You work in fast fucking food. <laughs> this is not life and death, right? <laughs> yeah, that's basically how I feel right now in retail too. And that's why uh, my my managers constantly try to get me to move up. And, uh, in fact, they, they were pushing me to take a, a promotion, which I'm happy to announce I did not get. <laughs> I'm legitimately happy to announce that uh, for two reasons. One, there was a better candidate. It was a temporary position, just to, just to be clear. Um, one, there was a better candidate for it, a clearly better candidate, because this person has experience with the specific position before. They have done this exact position before in our store, um, so it made more sense for them to get the job in the first place. And two, I didn't want it. I was just, I was pulled aside by four different managers. Like, Hey, we expect for you to put in for this. Like, Bruh, I don't really want to, but I mean, <laughs> like, I guess the money would be nice. And like, sure. It's only for a certain period of time, like half a year. It's not the end of the world. So yeah, I can put in for it. Like I, but I'm glad I didn't. I'm, I'm legitimately glad I didn't get it. Yes. The money would have been nice, but I, it's my bills are paid, right? Like that's what's important to me. My bills are paid, so I don't, I don't, I'm not worried about it. But like, your GM said, I've given you more hours this week and next week. Don't make me regret it. What? <laughs> You're not a fucking football coach gambling by giving a certain player playing time. Oh man, that's one of my favorite things in the world. Whenever me and I'm being sarcastic, um, managers that refuse to. Not exactly the same situation or anything, um, but again, not dropping names, but I know of a manager who instead of firing anyone, if they're legitimately like shit at their job, have had conversations with them, they, they whether they call off on the time or they just uh, don't care, don't put in any work at all or whatever, like they're, they're more of a harm to the company than they are a help, right? And then like, instead of managers firing them, just fucking cutting their hours down or whatever. <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> that's not actually fixing anything though. If you got rid of them, you could have got somebody in who actually does their job. <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> And that's fucking stupid too, dude. Like, don't make me regret it. Dude, shut up. <laughs> like, <laughs> I remember, uh, one manager at, when I used to work fast food, um, they they had the expectation of of not only me but a, a few of us guys online um on the, like the assembly line to to train new staff right and like that's fine that's that's normally that's a fairly normal expectation whenever a new person comes in the other staff is expect to help train them or whatever the problem is is that at the fast food restaurant i worked at i don't know if this is common for all of them it was a mcdonald's um I don't know if it's common at all McDonald's, but at least at the McDonald's I was at, uh, there was literally a position specifically for that, right? 
it wasn't a manager or anything, but it was somebody who was paid a little bit more to train new people when they came in. And we had a couple of them in there or whatever. Um, but they would expect us to do it. And like, fine, whatever. I just fucking blew it off. Like, okay, it's not my job. I'm not the one being paid for it. I won't do it. But then they started bitching at us, <laughs> expecting us to take more of a leading role with these new hires and shit like that. So I'm like, okay, well, then you can pay us what you pay the people whose job it is to do this thing. And they were like, no, no, we don't see uh, you as somebody that could lead. Um, we, we don't think you deserve a promotion, basically. I don't remember the exact wording that they used. But, like, yeah, we, we don't see you as somebody worth promoting, basically, is what they told me. I was legitimately pissed um, for two reasons. One, because I was tired of being bitched at for doing... for not doing uh what wasn't my job for one and two the way they said it and like i said i don't remember exactly what they said but seemed very rude and uh i would just like to point out to this person that when i switched to my current employer i was promoted i was they started looking at me for promotion after roughly a year and uh, i was promoted about a year and a half in um, and then I was promoted again a few six, six months, eight months, roughly eight months after that I was promoted again. And, uh, since then I've refused to take any promotions, but like I said, I've been asked to multiple times. <laughs> like, so yeah, uh, your loss, I guess, dude, M manager at the random McDonald's that I worked at. They just cut Kevin Wowers. That's shit, dude. 30, then 27, then 25, 22, 19 and a half, 17 and a half. See, that's so fucking shitty, dude. <laughs> like, honestly, like, I believe you too. I see you just saying that you're not, you showed up with a good attitude, did what you're told, you don't complain and whatever. Um, But let's say that they did think you had a problem. I believe you. I'm on your side here, just to be clear. But let's, a theoretical employee that uh, was in your position but was not, a good employee, right? What's better for everybody, whether it's the people, the other associates working there, for the company itself, for that person probably even, what's better? Giving them 15 hours a week or just telling them, yo, you're not a good fit for this. We're going to have to let you go, right? <laughs> like That's better for literally everyone because then you don't have somebody with a shitty ass attitude bringing everyone down or fucking things up so other people have to fix it constantly um you're not paying someone extra money to do nothing when you could pay someone to actually do their job and that person is now incentivized to go and find a job that maybe they actually fit in at that they actually are good at like honestly i think it's better all around when i was a manager i did feel bad a little bit because there was one kid that uh he was a good kid. I, I liked him on a personal level, but he was terrible at the job. That uh, He was not fit for my team at all. And, uh, like, that sucks, man. And I had a few conversations with him. And uh, I guess maybe I was a little too rough because the dude just straight up left the company. 100% just left the company. And, like, we tried. I I just happened to walk in to the HR office whenever he was turning in his stuff. Right. And, uh, so the HR manager was like, well, what's going on? And he explained it. And I was like, wait, you're leaving, man. He said, yeah, I think it's time for me to just go. And I was like, oh, okay. I like, I didn't expect that. And the HR manager was like, well, maybe we could like, you don't have to quit. Maybe we could find you another position or whatever. Um, like surely there's something else you could do. And then they looked at me like gesturing and I was like, yeah, dude, totally. Like you, you just don't fit on my team, but like, you're not a bad worker or anything. I, I'm sure there's a couple of different positions that you could excel at. And he was just like, nah, dude, I'm done. <laughs> I was like, well, I did kind of feel bad about that. Um, but at the end of the day, like it wasn't helping my team. It wasn't helping any of my other associates. And if he would have been willing to take another spot in the company, I think he could have excelled honestly. Cause like I said, he was a good kid. He just, literally wasn't fit to do to do the job the job that i was in charge of was a relatively physical one and uh he just yeah it wasn't it wasn't for him it just wasn't for him they don't want to do that because they don't want to plan employment and that is true to a certain degree 
Yeah. Like, that is... Yeah. <laughs> that is a very real thing um, that sucks. It's an amazing help to people when they need it. It's also obviously abused quite often. Um, and I don't have a good answer for that. The unemployment question. Um, like... Yeah, I, I, I really don't know. Because, again, it, it's, in my mind, I, I guess I haven't been high enough in any company to see the numbers firsthand, right? So, like, take this with a huge grain of salt. But in my mind, it would be better to give somebody two $300 a week in, uh, in unemployment for, for a shitty low-end job um, and then pay another person two $300 a week that shows up and actually does their job um and brings a good attitude to the workplace um then then to leave somebody in there that's actively wasting other people's time uh but again i don't know right a lot of companies like like your big box stores and and a lot of fast food chains and stuff like that they can certainly afford unemployment let's not beat around that bush the people that own these companies are loaded, man. Like they, they have more money than we can imagine. Uh, they can fully afford <laughs> uh, to to pay. But again, that opens a whole another can of worms with laws in America for publicly traded companies and have to have the the investors' best interests in mind, not so much their workers and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's a whole can of worms. And it's fucking dumb. You don't you don't know what the hell to do. You get told i'm too slow all the time i mean i mean i don't know your exact situation but maybe it's time for you to just look for another another job sadly even if it's like a lateral move to another fast food place or something like that because it sounds like from what you've told me it sounds like the problem is more your manager or management or something um not exactly getting along with you right because it sounds like you do good work. It doesn't sound like you are the problem here. It sounds like something a little more personal. Or the problem that I was getting back to with managers earlier, just completely unrealistic expectations in workers. Because that's, that's certainly a thing that I've had to deal with a lot. Uh, different jobs that I've worked at is no matter how hard you work, no matter how quickly you go, it's not going to be good enough, right? For certain managers, which is ridiculous, honestly, but it's it's also the truth. Uh, so if it's possible for you to do a lateral move to, like, another fast food place, or if you're, like, whatever, like, yard work, every restaurant and factory that I've ever been to. Oh, shit, dude. That's tough. Yeah, that's that's a lot harder to deal with. I, I hope you catch a lucky break somewhere, right? Find a place that you that you fit in and that appreciates all of the hard work that you put in for them. Um, my, uh, my experience at McDonald's was, was similar. I'm not going to say that I showed up every day with a great attitude. Uh, I didn't <laughs> some days I did, but I, I hated that place and I didn't exactly make it. Uh, I, yeah, I didn't exactly hide it, I guess. <laughs> so like, maybe not you know whatever but uh but yeah it took me going from an office job which i i did enjoy but there were problems with um to mcdonald's making significantly less money uh hating that place going to walmart um and then honestly at at the big box store i uh my first few months or so were pretty rough honestly um there were a couple of managers that just we did not get along and and more than a couple honestly and uh thankfully a couple of them before they've left the the store um or the company i don't know if they still work for the company or not like we've talked and they were like i'll be honest with you i didn't care for you when you got here but you proved us wrong you know like so thankfully I stuck it out and eventually I was able to win them over, I guess, is, is what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, and then it's slowly grown from there. And besides the fact that I have much more experience now, I don't think I'm really much more of a, a better worker than I was back then. 
it's just I get along with my management a lot better now. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't. So it really comes down to luck a lot of times, you know. And then uh, when I when I got the promotion, um, a part of that was was me being able to or like getting along with with a couple of the different managers and whatnot. I'm sure. I'm sure it wasn't purely my work ethic. Uh, I like to think that that was the least part of it, but I'm sure that wasn't purely it. And uh, whenever I decided that I never want to move up in this company again, that was due to a shitty manager. Um, actually, two different shitty managers. Uh, so I mean, like, yeah, <laughs> it, it's been go it's been an ongoing battle for me too. I don't think I have it about as as hard as you have with some shitty management, but it's certainly, you know, certainly been a problem for me too, man. Like. You're 33, you work faster than anyone 50 plus, I can assure you. So why are other people allowed to be slow? But if I am, it's an issue. I wonder, honestly, I wonder if it's one of those things where the expectations are higher for you because they see you putting in more work than other people, right? Because like, that's a thing that unfortunately happens a lot too. Like that story that I had with uh, my manager that wanted me to yell at my team for pallets being a little bit off kilter right like not being perfectly straight um like we showed that we could do a certain level of work so now they expected that level of work to be done every single night regardless of circumstances and oh here's some more stuff that we need you to do we need you to make sure everything's perfectly lined up hydrate you got it my guy uh I need to make sure that everything is put away properly. Everything's perfectly lined up. There's not a single scrap of paper on the ground or whatever. And this giant store, et cetera, et cetera. So like the harder you work, the more expectations that ended up being thrown on us too. So I wonder if maybe there's a bit of that going on. Again, obviously I can't say for sure. I I, I don't know um, you personally or, or your your boss or anything like that. But that is certainly something that sadly happens in a lot of workplaces. Hard work goes underappreciated. You're totally right. I had a feeling it was something along those lines. Maybe it's a mixture of the the things we've talked about. But yeah, it sucks, man. Like I said, managements can make or break a company for people. I uh, The only reason why I even considered taking this temporary position or going for this temporary uh, promotion is because our management team now is so much better than it was before. If uh, if I had to deal with managers as bad as I've had in the past, I, I wouldn't have even considered it. But they, uh, they've they made the job bearable enough that I'm like, you know what, I could probably step up and not want to die every day. <laughs> so, like, uh. so is the answer to just be ass at work from the first day so I have low expectations? Yeah, but you got to be like... Not so ass that they just cut your hours down to nothing or fire you, but enough ass that they just don't expect much from you either, you know? You got to find that happy middle ground and then just, just ride that line. <laughs> uh, no, I uh, I mean, sadly, that may be true. I, I say it jokingly, of course. It may be true. I, In my heart, I want to believe that hard work pays off, but it doesn't always. Uh, honestly um yeah i don't take anything i say as true life advice though i'm just some random 30 year old dude on dude on the internet that can hardly handle my own life most of the time <laughs> so like oh boy yeah <laughs> there's definitely better people out there to listen to than me but uh but yeah no this is this is not legal medical or personal advice I guess I don't know. Th I, whatever. Look, don't sue me if every <laughs> if you take my advice and <laughs> shit hits the fan. <laughs> I'm just a guy on the internet. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, though, <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> I think I've been rambling more than long enough. I've heard Noodle finally come out of the bathroom, so that means dinner's probably getting made. We're almost a half hour past our uh, our quitting time for the night, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Took your advice, smoked ass, and now I have pink eye. Oh, no. Oh, no. I knew this day was coming. <laughs> Anyways, 
uh well on that note man i think i should get off here before uh before the lawsuit hits so <laughs> now i'll be back tomorrow night with optojack actually we'll be playing uh grounded a multiplayer game multiplayer survival game uh, about shrunken kids trying to not get eaten by ants and spiders and shit basically so uh fun times no honestly the game is a lot of fun for anyone that can make it i hope to see you there for everyone else have a wonderful night and as always be kind to each other bro that's all it really comes down to at the end be kind to each other wait what am i lying about i don't know what i'm lying about it's farming sim 20 it's not farming sim it's grounded i'm going i'm leaving <laughs> goodbye y'all have a good night